وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد We spoke about uh, six reasons for why people fall into low aspiration Inshallah ta'ala today we're going to take the seventh uh, sabab, the seventh uh, reason for low aspiration, and that is tashjir. The seventh is tashjir. We have we don't have much people who encourage you. This concept of encouraging a person in good is very little. We see a person who mashallah Allah barik, he makes it in something. Either he learns uh, medicine and he becomes something good in it or he becomes good in the Quran and his tajweed is so good and his voice is very good or he becomes a good teacher so he knows how to teach and the ability to teach and the art of teaching he learns that and masters it but what happens is he doesn't find anyone that grabs him by the hand and helps him and aids him. Honey, the world that we're living in today, it's scary, to be honest. This young individual who's trying to bring khair to the table, he doesn't find anyone that grabs him by the hand. Bal rubbama, rather, what might even happen is, he might find, wajada man yukhadiru, he might find people who are deceiving him. وَيَضَعُوا الْعَقَبَاتِ فِي طَرِيقِهِ Who place obstacles in front of him. And then what happens? وَمِنْ هُنَا تَقْبُوا نَارُهُ وَتَدْنُوا هِمَّتُهُ that flame that was in him is extinguished. The aspiration that he had also is taken away from him. So that's one of the reasons why low aspiration comes. The eighth reason why there's low aspiration is suhbatul ashrar wa murafaqatul mukhaddilin. The company and the people that you're with. A suhbatul sayyia, evil people, they can tuhassinu al qabiha wa tuqabbihu al hasan. They can beautify for you that which is evil. And they can make the good look bad. They can. And they push a person to that which is bad. And they distance a person from every good there is out there. The reason for that is because that the person gets affected by the people he sits with. فَالصَّاحِبُ سَاحِبُ وَالطَّبْعُ استراق. The friend can drag you down and you do take from people's nature and the way that they are. How many people have we copied? And sometimes we do it unintentionally. We don't even intend to do it. And from the people that we sit with, there are those who are مُخَذِّلِين Deceptive people. There are people who are corrupt. وَمُرَافَقَتَهُمْ تَنْسَاقُ بِصَاحِبِهَا إِلَى الْحَضِيرِ And sitting with these type of people, what will he do to you? تَنْسَاقُ صَاحِبَهَا إِلَى الْحَضِيرِ It pushes that person to the lowest of low. فَكُلَّ مَا هَمَّ بِالصُّعُودِ عَوَّقُوهُ عَنْ هِمَّتِهِ Those type of people, whenever you are about to make it in life and you're making ends meet and you're succeeding in life, they pop out of nowhere and all they want to do is they want to belittle you. They want to keep you under their thumb. And I have to be very frank and honest. Well, like, I have to be very honest here and say, it's sad to say that, but a lot of people in the da'wah scene like that. They are like that. They might be older than a newcomer, a person who's new in the da'wah, a person who's just, you know, starting the da'wah. Instead of being a sincere advisor and helping him how to go about things, then don't, they don't do it in that way. What they do is they want to control that young, fresh youth who has high aspiration. His da'wah is, mashallah, he wants to go out and do a lot. Instead of helping him how to uh, go about the way to do it and set you know, a path for him, 
and help him and not extinguish that light from him. You want that light to flame and go more, but you want to put it in the right direction. No, some people, they want to keep you under their thumb. They want to control your life. So whenever they see you prospering and succeeding, they want to push you backwards. They will accuse you of things that you're free from. They will uh, treat you in a way that is it's, it's, it's evil. So those are the type of people who will push you to that which is low. So I say to the young one, don't lose passion and drive. And don't also become against your seniors. Whether they treat you in that way or not, there's a lot you're going to benefit from them as well. And through them, you'll be protected from many things as well. Those type of people, what they will do to you is they will put your aspiration down and they will kill your aspiration. They'll make funny jokes like, really, you think you are going to change everything? That's what they do. And also what they do is they kill his conviction. Sometimes they scare him. They scaremongering. I will expose you. I know what you are. I'm just going to go to your parents. I'm going to speak to your parents. And sometimes they place obstacles and things in front of you. Don't be scared. Carry on your da'wah. Have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and keep going. وَلَوْ لَمْ يَأْتِهِ مِنْ مُجَالَسَةِ هَؤُلَاءِ إِلَّا أَنَّهُ يُقَارِنُ حَالَهُ بِحَالِهِمْ Those type of people when you sit with them. Wallahi, if there's nothing else they do to you except they make you like them is enough as a harm. They don't do anything else to you, but they make you think like them and be like them, then that itself is enough. So don't get fooled by those people. And that is, wallahi, one of the things that destroys a person's aspiration. The type of people you keep around you. Keep around you people who are hardworking. People who are, are driven. People who believe that the sky is not the limit. That's the type of people you want to be around. That's the type of people you want to keep your, in your surrounding. And brothers and sisters, those people who have high aspiration don't have to necessarily be positive people. It's this concept that I have to only be around, be around be, that I only have to be around people who are positive, it's a mistake, wallahi. Sometimes there are people who are negative, okay? But their negativity is based on a constructive criticism. In that issue they're negative in, okay? It's a constructive criticism. It helps you. Wallahi, it helps. Don't dismiss those people and keep around you uh, people who, who would only say yes, 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 yes to you. Bring that type of person close who's bringing you constructed criticism. Hear, hear them out and take it on board. They are part of the people who are going to make you flirt. So that's why I say keep around you people who have high aspiration, not people who are positive. Not necessarily. People who have high aspiration, those are the type of people you want to be with. Who will always push you to your limits. Sometimes they will say negative things to you, yes. In order to correct you, in order to rectify your situation. And so you achieve the best that you can uh, achieve. Now we're going to go on to the ninth um, reason for low aspiration. And that is, قِلَّةُ الصَّبْرِ وَاسْتِطَالَةُ الطَّرِيقِ the person has low patience and they also see that this uh, goal that they're trying to achieve, the objective that they're trying to achieve is actually far-fetched. And so you find many people who uh, They tread on the path of glory and uh, honorable things whether it be in seeking its knowledge, Islamic knowledge or not, whether it be a da'wah ila Allah, calling to Allah's path, or whether it be al-jihad fi sabi'illah, fighting in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or ghayri dhalika, or other than that, fa'idha mastaqallat tariq, fa'idha mastaqallat tariq, when they 
uh, tread on that path. وَتَوَغَّلَ فِي السَّيْرِ وَرَعَى كَثْرَةَ الْعَوَائِقِ دُونَهُ نَفَادَ صَبْرَهُ So when the person treads on that path and they take that road and they see that the obstacles on that road is actually too much, he loses patience. And his aspiration, وَلَمْ تُسْعِفُهِ مَتَى His aspiration doesn't grow, go up. And so what does he do? فَيَتْرُكُ مَا هَمَّ uh, he leaves off that which he wanted to do in the beginning. Uh, and in the middle of the path, he stops and he says, I can't do this anymore. This is actually not for me. Whereas the one who has high aspiration, has true conviction. He doesn't see the path to be long. And he doesn't Look at those people. Rather what he does is, بَلْ يَسِيرُ وَلِسَانُ حَالِهِ يَقُولُ Rather what he does is that he treads on that path and he works towards what he's trying to achieve. And he's like, he is like he's saying, عَلَيَّ طِلَابُ الْعِزِّ مِنْ مُسْتَقَرِّهِ وَلَا ذَنْبَ لِي إِنْ عَارَضَتْنِ الْمَقَادِرُ And I'm going to achieve my goal and I'm going to achieve what I'm looking for. And there's no sin upon me if death comes to me before I try to achieve it. وَلِذَلِكَ إِبْنُ أُقَيْسِ One of the pre-Islamic poets When he wanted to go to إِلَى قَيْسَرِ الرُّوم When he wanted to go to him مُسْتَنْجِدًا بِهِ عَلَى بَنِي أَسَدْ And the reason why he was going to uh, Qaisar, the Roman uh, He was going to him because he wanted to give him help So he can go and fight Bani Asad um, And uh, because they killed his father He took with him Amr ibn Qami'ah and Amr ibn Qami'ah was known as to be min aqdam shu'ara Bakr he was one of the well known established uh, poets from the people of Bani uh, Bakr but when they tread on when they treaded on the path together Amr Qais and him Amr ibn Qami'ah and Amr Qais they went on the path and they walked وَاسْتَقَلَّ طَرِيقَهَا And the path became uh, tough. بَكَ عَمْرُ بْنُ قَمِئَ Amr ibn Qami'a cried because of the what? لِطُولِ الطَّرِيقَ The path is long. This is, they're not driving a, a Tesla. And they're not on a, a, a Concorde flight. You see? So he cried walking in the desert. Heat. يعني, he cried. So Amr Qaysin said to him بَكَ صَاحِبِي لَمَّا رَأَ الدَّرْبَ دُونَهُ وَأَيْقَنَ أَنَّا لَاحِقَانِ بِقَيْصَرَا فَقُلْتُ لَهُ لَا تَبْكِي عَيْنُكَ إِنَّمَا نُحَاوِلُ مُلْكًا أَوْ نَمُوتَ فَنُعْذَرَا He said, Bakar Sahibi, my friend is crying. لَمَّا رَأَ الدَّرْبَ دُونَهُ When he saw that he hasn't reached where he wanted, he sees that the place is far. وَأَيْقَنَ And he realized أَنَّا لَاحِقَانِ بِقَيْصَرَا That we are trying to go to Qaisar. فَقُلْتُ لَهُ I said to him, لا تبكي my friend عمرو بن قمية don't cry إنما نحاول ملكا what we're looking for is a kingdom أو نموت فنعذر نعذرا or we're gonna die and we're gonna be excused at least we were trying so what he's trying to say to him is نحن نطلب الملك we are looking for a kingdom فإذا بلغنا إربنا منه if we reach our goal that we were looking for وإلا ألحنا في الطلب or else we're going to strive and exert the effort if we don't die. حَتَّى نَمُوتَ دُونَ Until we reach what we're looking for and uh, uh, and gain our objectives. وَهَذَا أَشْرَفُ الْعُدْرِ لَنَا And that would be the best excuse for us. The tenth and final uh, reason for low aspiration I'm going to mention inshaAllah ta'ala is kathratu shawaghili wal qawati'h the person has so much responsibility so much things that are in their way min ahlin you have family wa sahbin friends you see and children wa ma ila dhalik so the person um he's, these things that are preoccupying and there's also other things that are distracting you such as social media we spoke about and other things and when those things come 
they get in your way. ولذلك الإمام الشافعي ورحمه الله said لو أن لقمان الحكيم الذي سارت به الركبان بالفضل بلي بفقر وعيال لما فرق بين التبن والبغل إمام الشافعي he said if لقمان الحكيم Luqman is, there's a whole entire surah in the Quran named after him. So he used to be called Luqman al-Hakim, the wise man. And Luqman has wisdom. Allah mentioned that for him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the Quran, that Allah gave to Luqman hikmah, wisdom. He was a wise individual. The Imam Shafi'i says, لو أن لق, لو أن, if, pos, if it was, أن Luqman al-Hakim, Luqman, the wise one, الذي صارت به الركبان بالفضل that people came to him from all over the world because of his virtue bully بفقر if he was tested with poverty وعيال and he was tested with children لما فرق بين التبن والبقل he will not be able to distinguish between the hay and the legume he wouldn't be able to يعني إمام Al-Shafi'i, what, he, what he's trying to say is that Luqman al-Hakim was only able to speak those words of wisdom and say what he said because he wasn't tested with uh, poverty and children's problems. Ali. He was given wisdom way before that. I'm going to stop there, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect uh, it's from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are both free from it. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdi. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.